All right, guys, we are going to be game number six. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but Ryung is ahead 3-2. He only needs one more game. Classic. Everyone, everyone on Team Liquid, everyone on Reddit, everyone on Twitter, everyone said, you know, Ryung's going to put up a good fight, maybe 4-2 um, victory for Classic. No, Ryung is almost there. His ability to adapt is proving un. Beatable for Classic, but Classics only got to win two games. This is one of those games. We're going to be hopping into it shortly, but Camaro, we're going to be on Acolyte. How does this work out on Terran vs. Burr? I know a lot of people don't like this map. How does uh, how does it work out in the matchup? So this map is the closest map to Proxima Station because you have the in-base natural, which means, of course, I think Protoss like this map a little bit more than Terran do, but... Mm -hmm. I mean, it is the sixth map because it is so new, and the one problem with it is you do get an early second base pretty easily, mm -hmm. you get a third base pretty easily, and then you're kind of stretching for these last bases. You can get a fourth pretty easily along the top or bottom, but after that, like, the fifth is kind of going to have to be in a eh, spot, like, not comfortable spot, so... I mean, we'll see. It really kind of depends who takes the aggressive positioning in this game. Honestly, I feel like with the way the bases work out, the longer the game devastating Ryung's drops are going to be. Yeah, I, we'll see. Like, I, I just don't know. Honestly, this series has been so amazing. Like, yeah, it's been really hard to predict. I can agree with that. All right. Well, we will go ahead and introduce the players spawning in the top right. He is the Chin Toss. Can he pull it back? And actually, you know what? I like his other nickname better. It is the Zealot Toss. It is classic. And his opponent in the bottom left-hand side of this map. He is not an Acolyte. He is just playing on Acolyte. He's the Blue Terran Ryung. So, again, I've got to be honest. I'm almost just rooting for classic in this game because this has been such a good series. Like... Mm -hmm. I'm so happy I got to cast this because, again, I am a, I am a huge favor, fan of Ryung even. God, I'm, uh -huh. I'm mixing up words. I am so excited. I am a huge fan of Ryung. Mm -hmm. like, I've been watching him play since 2010. I'm a huge right. fan of Classic because I play Protoss, and I love how he plays it. He's got so many little little tidbits that just make him him. And, yeah, like, both true. these players are really putting on a great show match, really both going at it very hard. Mm -hmm. And, like... I don't even care who wins. I just want to see more StarCraft. So if this could go to a Game 7, one of these players has to win, and that means I'm happy. Why don't we just have a best of 69 and be like, hey, players, guess what? We change the rules a little bit. You know what? Here's an idea. How much money you got in your wallet? I don't own a wallet. Well, that's a shame. How much money you got laying around? Because here's the idea. Basically, <laughs> we just keep going. Every time we're like, guys, it's actually a best of nine. And uh -huh. Classic's like, I can't stay that long. It's like, could you stay that long for a quarter? Well, I have a suggestion. Why don't we uh, do that through Match Arena? I'll play a little bit longer. We'll talk to him on your behalf. Just you know, donate a little bit to him on Match Arena. We'll be like, hey, guys, people really like you. Anyways, guys, this game is starting to get exciting. Reaper getting into this natural uh, and then up into the main as well. Uh, Attempts going to clear that out, but he did get a lot of scouting information out of there. Oracle going to be trying to do exactly the same thing. Marine's very careful to zone that out, Cam. Looks like both players are going to be trying to play very defensive, just little pokes from important units here, man. Where do you think this game goes from here? I'm honestly kind of surprised Classic went for this Proxy Oracle again. He's down a game, it worked one game, and then it kind of didn't work at all. Mm -hmm. And now he's going for it a third time, which, again, you've seen how Ryung's been playing this series. Every single mm -hmm. thing you hit him with, like, you suck him with the left hook, and the next time you go for it, he blocks it. You suck him with the right hook, next time he counterattacks him, he jabs you right in the face. And, like... He just keeps throwing right hooks, and he just keeps getting jabbed. Like, this Oracle has been completely denied. He got one kill. All that really forced out was a missile turret. Like, nothing's really changed that much for Ryung's build. He does cut his factory, so it is a little bit more delayed, but really all this means is that Ryung is going to have to play a little bit more defensively because he doesn't have the minds to be able to take on a really cheap fight for him. 
Well, classics go to strategy, um, both historically and in the inclusive part, has kind of been Oracle into Blink Stalkers in a three base. The exact same setup we're seeing here, followed by a Robo. Is this him finally taking the game seriously? Has he been kind of eh, with Ryung so far? I don't think he's been that. But what I do think is that he's really... When you're backed into a corner, you just go with what's comfortable. You mm -hmm. just do what's natural, and you just you try to get that last game under you. Because you know if you lose this, you got no chance. And again, I love to keep talking about fighting games, because I love watching fighting games, and I love watching fighting games because they remind me of StarCraft in some ways. Because again, you'll see players that pick other characters, but when the chips are on the table... It's back to that main character. And for Classic, it is back to that main build. He's just going to do what works for him, and he's going to make it work. So, Stem plus one upgrades for Ryung. We don't have any major upgrades right now for Classic. When Blink finishes, he should be having plus one. Ryung going to be staying defensive, three bases. He's not going to take advantage of his upgrade advantage. But, uh... I think this is going to be turning out into like probably like a 15 20 minute game cam. I think you're going to get exactly your wish, dude. Neither guy wants to like move out of his base right now. Well, the one thing I've been liking is that Ryung has been making a lot of smart decisions. The only decision I criticized turned out to be smart anyway. So, like again, just thing after thing. Like he now knows that this is a blink stalker build. He knows there's no adepts, he knows there's mm -hmm. really no phoenixes. This is going to be a very standard PVT in classic style. So what's he doing? Well, he's on Acolyte. It's really easy to hold three bases, and mm -hmm. it's kind of easy to hold four bases. So deny the Oracles, mm -hmm. and then just don't push into this super defensive setup of Rion. You know, like, wait a little bit, get the army you need, because, again, once you have enough Metavacs, it's kind of hard to really take a fight with uh, Blink Stalkers, but this could actually be a little dangerous if classic catches this. Yeah, Ryung uh, definitely trying to get these medevacs into the third base. And this is a really hard third base to get ground army into, simply because you have to walk all the way around the natural, all the way into the main, and then into what... I don't like calling this the back natural. I don't know, like, the front one's the natural to me. Yeah, a little, little bit of a nice move there from Ryung. Again, the one thing he's doing, and the one thing he is still remembering from game number one, is whenever he overcommitted, he constantly got pushed in by adepts. Mm -hmm. Like... He moves across the map, here come the adifs. He he doesn't go back, but he takes fight and it doesn't go too well. But it's mm -hmm. alright, he rebuilds, he pushes out. Here come the adifs. But look what he's doing in this game. He's never overextending. He drives the medivacs over, he scans, mm -hmm. he sees the classic is ready with three pylons in the mothership core with right. full energy. Just drive on back home. You could try for something, but it's just... Like, right now, you're in the driver's seat. Just keep it going. Yeah, it looks like uh, Colossi with extended thermal lands are going to be on the field. So, uh, is that what like Ryung wants to 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 prevent, or is there no impetus into like killing those off? Ooh, really nice pickup here. Yeah, a little. It's a little weird because it's one thing I really have been loving about Colossi lately is what you mm -hmm. see them used for is not even necessarily their splash damage. What they're used for is. All right, listen, sucks to be you, but you have to make Vikings. You can't make Liberators now. It's like, well, crap, I could I could make Liberators and hope it works out that they kill the Colossi before my entire army dies, which mm -hmm. usually doesn't work, especially once you get up to this, like, Colossi count. Like, you already see there's two on the map. Yeah, and uh, third and fourth in production with plus two upgrades. That's going to mean a lot of dead tear and stuff before uh, it's all said and done. Yeah, so, again, he's going to force Ryung onto Vikings as soon as he sees this mm -hmm. Colossi. But now we're kind of getting to the scary part, because Ryung is getting that advanced ballistics upgrade for this thing, for these Liberators, also known as Liberator Range. And really, Ooh. Liberator Range is when things start getting scary. Dude, I'm terrified of Liberator Range. I, I play a lot. Yeah, Ryung doing a great job picking up observers around the map. Like, he's really, again... He's just setting himself up for this, and when you look at the mm -hmm. army of Classic, the only thing he has to deal with Liberators is these Blink Stalkers, and there's really not that many of them, and he's supply capped, so it's not like he can make any more. Well, <laughs> both of these players are playing so passive, man. This is so different than the first, what, what is this, game six? First five games? Yeah. Dude, like, they were so up in each other's face, but now each one's scared to make the wrong move, and hey, my antivirus scan just completed. I'm not infected. Yay! 
All right. We are glad to hear that Shaft does not need to go to the computer hospital. Yay. Where we have a little pixelated drawing of Seeker who's recovering. Get well soon, buddy. <laughs> Poor guy. Appendicitis isn't fun. Speaking of, medevacs coming in to take those marines to the hospital. Yeah. Fortunately, some of them did not make it, but and now, <laughs> again, we still have a pretty scary army. And again, though, this is kind of the scary thing. is Look at this Liberator count. There yeah. are nine Liberators out, like Classic. Mm -hmm. we, I, God, like Classic is just pushing across the map into this. It looks like he's going to go for the base trade. Yeah. Which, I actually really like this idea. Rion's nine Liberators really aren't that good if you have to kill buildings. Liberators mm -hmm. still cannot shoot buildings yet. David Kim win. Yeah, thank God for that, dude. Liberators are so strong, so I'm very happy about that. However, uh, oh Rion does have an insane army, and we've got some... Holy crap, there's a lot of Liberators. Yeah, how do you ever break this? Like, I just slowly, don't see it happening. Slowly, you have to do it slowly, and that's what Ryung needs. It's time. However, reinforcements are coming in for Flask, and it looks like uh, Ryung might have, like, overstemmed a little bit here. Most of his units here are super bruised, and I'm not sure if he's going to be able to get those out in time. My one worry for Classic here is, like, I honestly think he just didn't realize how high this Liberator count was, and now he realizes mm -hmm. that he's turning back, but he's already just taken a ton of damage, his production's in shambles. Mm -hmm. As you see, he's rushing out three Stargates because he needs Tempest, but mm -hmm. he just doesn't have that as an option. They will mind even killing off a sell it just as a little insult as these units walk back. So, like... Like, again, you see, Ryun knows that this force's time is limited on this map, but he knows that it doesn't matter how long it lives, and boom. As soon as he knows things are just a little too spooky, just drive on home and even gonna stop and see all these stargates. He's gonna try to unload the beautiful feedbacks on the medevacs. And yeah, like, oh god, here come the liberators. Liberators zoning it off. Uh, look at the bank for Classic right now. He's floating 2k, 2k. That is so huge. The production got depowered for so long. Ryung sniped exactly what he needed to. Now that he's, uh, got rid of most of the production, why trade his army? He's gonna win late game. Yeah, I mean, you just see, there's just so many Liberators. Mm-hmm. Like, you can never push into this. Not without Tempest. And these Stargates are now dead. You can see the last one dying here. It's already been unpowered. Now it's dead. There's no Tempest on the way. There's no Cybernetics Core finish. Like, he's gonna mm -hmm. win with this. I like the way he's leapfrogging these Liberators. You know, most of the Protoss stuff, specifically the Glossi, and uh, Classic trying to choose to engage. He does not want to give up game a number four to his opponent, but I think Young might be choking him out here in the next few minutes. Yeah, Ryung still has plenty of economy going on. Like, you can just see that economy is not amazing for Ryung, but at any point, he could just lift up these bases and have it be better. Dude, this is so insane. Colossi trying to take out Iowa. Classic going to... Oh god. In a 4-2 upset cam. Oh my Jesus. What just happened? I I hope no Protoss players were watching this. That that's PTSD flashbacks right there, man. Like <laughs> what? I just saw glitter mixed with blows the epitome of Pro I just don't think Classic ever saw these Liberators, and by the time he saw how many there were with advanced ballistics, like, there's just no shot. What do you do against all of this? There's so many Liberators out. There's so many units out, and there's so much that you have to trade. It's like, all right, well, I'll push up the ramp. I'll base trade, and that'll go okay for me. Well, you can't. There's like 30 Liberators with range. Yeah. All right, well... Maybe I go back. Well, you kind of lost a lot, Classic. You really can't go back. Yeah. All right, well, I have Colossi. He can't push in on the ground. You don't really have Colossi anymore. <laughs> like, it's just... Like, Liberators are uh -huh. strong. Some uh -huh. people may even say they're overpowered, but, like, mm -hmm. that's just too many Liberators. You have to have a way to deal with that. And by the time he realized how many Stargates he needed, they were mm -hmm. already depowered and gone. Oh my god, dude. These games, man. I did not expect this. Guys, holy crap. If you like these games as much as I did, 
please make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.